When a ray of light falls on a smooth or shiny surface, light from that surface bounces back those rays of light to our eyes and this is known as reflection or reflection of light. This phenomenon is what enables us to look at the world around us. As we described about laws of reflection of light in the previous video, which stated that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The incident ray, the normal and the reflected ray, all lie in the same plane. In this video we try to learn about some examples of law of reflection and what is a virtual image. There are countless examples where the law of reflection comes into play, primarily because the law of reflection works not only for visible light, but other electromagnetic radiation as well. However, the one example that we come across almost every day is related to the mirrors we have in our homes. You have probably been in the situation countless times when you're looking at the mirror, but also talking to someone at the same time, while maintaining eye contact. How does that happen? When a person looks into a mirror, he sees an image of himself behind the glass. That image results from light rays encountering the shiny surface and bouncing back, or reflecting, providing a mirror image. How a mirror produces an image. Mirror implies a glass surface with a silver backing that produces image through reflection. Images are seen in mirrors as the result of reflected light. The many light rays which originate at the object location reflect off the mirror and travel to each observer's eye. In the picture, the person located at left side referred to as an object. If the light rays diverge after reflection, then the image is referred to as a virtual image. You can make eye contact with someone else through your mirror reflection because you know, subconsciously, that the law of reflection comes into play whenever you look at a mirror. So, when you look into the mirror at a certain angle, your mirror reflection will be able to make eye contact with the other person in the room. A plain mirror forms a virtual image positioned behind the mirror. Although the rays of light seem to come from behind the mirror, light from the source only exists in front of the mirror. The image in a plane mirror is not magnified that is, the image is the same size as the object and appears to be as far behind the mirror as the object is in front of the mirror. Let us look if you sight a virtual image at different positions. To view an image of an apple in a mirror, you must sight along a line at the image location. As you sight at the image, light travels to your eye along the path shown in the diagram. The diagram shows that the light reflects off the mirror in such a manner that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. It just so happens that the light that travels along the line of sight to your eye follows the law of reflection. If you were to sight along a line at a different location than the image location, it would be impossible for a ray of light to come from the object, reflect off the mirror according to the law of reflection, and subsequently travel to your eye. Only when you sight at the image, does light from the object reflect off the mirror in accordance with the law of reflection and travel to your eye. In diagram 1, the eye is sighting along a line at a position above the actual image location. For light from the object to reflect off the mirror and travel to the eye, the light would have to reflect in such a way that the angle of incidence is less than the angle of reflection. In diagram 2, the eye is sighting along a line at a position below the actual image location. In this case, for light from the object to reflect off the mirror and travel to the eye, the light would have to reflect in such a way that the angle of incidence is more than the angle of reflection. Neither of these cases would follow the law of reflection. In fact, in each case, the image is not seen when sighting along the indicated line of sight. It is because of the law of reflection that an eye must sight at the image location in order to see the image of an object in a mirror. To see more videos like this and please consider subscribing.